Hello, welcome to Truth and Love, the church with your brother Joseph, where we promote Christian unity in the body of Christ. So we are going to start by answering the first question from Pastor Chris Okotier and Apostle Arme Osai with regards to the men who raised Prophet T.B. Joshua. They always ask the question, who raised him? So let's uh, get into the people who were actually mentors to Prophet T.B. Joshua. Let's start with the first one being the late Prophet Bill Sabritsky. Let's watch. May true servant of God, my Father and the Lord. The woman here, and you have persistent nightmares. Your husband left you some four years ago, and um, Elizabeth is relevant to you. I'd like to speak. To, I'd like to pray for you, please. My mother's name is Elizabeth, and my husband left me four years ago. So I just felt that it was for me. You're Elizabeth. Yes. Have you forgiven your husband? No. You haven't? <laughs> well, I'll pray for you if you get on your knees and forgive him. So that is just a snippet of how Prophet Jesus' father and Lord used to minister. So after he passed on, he was then mentored by Evangelist C.S. Up the Groove, the son to the late A.A. A. A. Allen. So let's watch um, him testifying that Prophet T.P. Joshua was his son. Let's watch. I am so thrilled Pero estoy lleno de mucha to be with my son. De estar con mi hijo. And my sweet daughter. Y mi hermosa, dulce hija, right here. Aquí mismo. God gave me a word before I left home. Dios me dio una so aside from taking on a fatherly role of uh, prophesying to him, praying for him, guiding him, he also strengthened him. You remember in uh, 2014 when the Scorn building collapsed, we had a lot of ministers who uh, rejoiced and things like that. But he, he was one of the few ministers who actually stood with Prophet T.B. Joshua in this way, his words of encouragement. My, my own dear uh, son, T.B. Joshua, God bless you, son. Please hear me. The only reason God has allowed any trouble to come your way is because He is proud of what you're doing for Him. You have stood, you have blessed so many people, you have been so liberal, you have helped the sick, you have done so many thousands of things, too many to mention, and the whole world knows about it. Anyhow, and so God is saying to the devil, <laughs> I'll prove to you that my son, Prophet T.B. Joshua, will stand. I will let him be tried. I will let you try whatever it is you want to try. But I am proud of my son, T.B. Joshua. So devil, go ahead. So the man was an amazing minister. He did a lot for the Lord when he, while he was still alive. And uh, concerning his death, they are one of the few ministers who actually prophesied. One of them was uh, Prophet Angel, he prophesied of the changing of the gods. But we also had uh, Pastor John Anosike, who actually prophesied that 2021 was the year of the transfer of mantles. And one minister, two ministers from Nigeria were going to pass on. And one of them was Prophet T.B. Joshua. And this is what he say. It's difficult to somewhere, somehow accept what is coming. God told me that this year fathers will go. In fact, I know two that will pass from my country. They've been in my vision twice. They were in my vision handing keys. So after the prophet uh, passed on, obviously there are other ministers who actually didn't agree with what he did, uh, how he ministered. Others called him a, a soothsayer, as we can hear, apostle. Arome saying, he referred Prophet T.B. Joshua, he did not uh, call him like a true prophet and this is what he said soon after the Prophet T.B. Joshua passed on. Tutsaya dies. When I have people on the pulpit saying one man of God died. And... So we, we need to know whether someone behind the pulpit still has a truth. We, we need to investigate it quickly at this time. So his main argument for saying this was concerning Prophet T.B. Joshua's salvation story. Um, I do not actually recall of a moment where Prophet T.B. Joshua actually said that uh, he got born again in his mother's womb. I don't really know. But when it comes to someone's salvation story, um, it's personal to you. It's only you who actually knows the particular time and moment where you gave your life to the Lord Jesus or when you received his life. 
so let's also hear what apostle johnson suleiman said when prophet ibi joshua passed on and also stay tuned to prophet Hubert angel's words to those who criticize prophet ibi joshua let's watch when the man of god dies people migrate to somewhere else how wicked people can be hallelujah the man of god just passed on now and people are saying some are even abusing him even at his death how devilish evil people are he was not fine for two days and he was still ministering to people now those people are going to move on with their life me i'm not fine minister to you for waiting now and he just started laughing very humble man trust me this is the reason why you hear me on many videos i always say if you have not won souls like tb joshua you have no right to oppose him you stand on no leg and you have no leg to stand on. If you have not healed as many people as to be Joshua, you can't talk. Just shut up. So uh, personally, from scripture, the man was a prophet. He was a minister of the gospel. He won souls. We saw the crusades he held in Mexico, Singapore, Indonesia, Cali, Colombia. He won souls to Christ. So I'll just leave you with a video where he was ministering together with my man of God, Pastor Chris Bayakilome, typifying unity in the body of Christ. Thank you for watching, supporting us by subscribing, by liking. I see your comment, sharing your love. Thank you so much and I'll meet you in another one. Look at this queen of a television.